James, you got announced, was it yesterday? I got announced yesterday, mate, yeah. A yeah. fight you've been, this is a fight that you've been wanting for a while. I mean, yeah. I remember when uh, Anthony Tomlinson uh, was, well, you wanted to fight him for the, for the central yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. But he ended up fighting Kyle Fox. I, I don't know who he was fighting, I'm Kyle Fox, a kid who was unbeaten, yeah. I think he was six and all at the time. Yeah. And uh, I think that was his, his first title, central area title, and he's, He's been flying since he's, he's been then. Doing, yeah, he's been doing really well. He, he moved on and uh, won an IBO, didn't he? IBO Continental. Yeah, yeah in, a, in good fashion. And then, obviously, went on for a British title eliminator against a, a Scottish guy called Stuart Burke, whereas I went on for my British title eliminator, come short. So, yeah, like, the, the, the fight's been there for me for a for a long, long time. and I'm, I'm Yeah, he was always on your radar. 150%, yeah, we're yeah. both from the central area. We're both up there in the rankings, like I said, Anthony Tomlinson's up at number 13 in the ranking now, which is which is phenomenal. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting the fight against him. I think it's going to be a great fight. I think it's top of the bill. So well, well, right. Where is it and when is it? It's in Sheffield. Um, it's on the Sheffield Arena car park um, on the 21st of May. Right. Four days before my birthday. Four days before your birthday. Yeah. Do you know, uh, I, I was I, I went up to speak to Anthony Thomas. Yeah. He was training down at Steffi Ball's gym at the time, and uh, it, it's it's a, a little bit strange the similarities in in your boxing careers, yeah. let's say, because he came to boxing fairly late in yeah. life. Um, a very short amateur career. I think he had about fifteen fights. And turned pro, I think, the month in the same year that you did in 2017, the month before you. Yeah. Um, and, and like I say, you, I think you had, what, about 13 white collar fights? Uh, yeah, 13, 12 white so, collar so fights, yeah. yeah that very was it. similar. You've had 14 fights now as a, as a, a professional. Pro, he's had, 13. He's had 12, 12 fights as a professional. I thought he was 13, yeah. Oh, he's had 12, and uh, like I said, I think he's got seven stoppages. So he's yeah. done everything right, done yeah, everything yeah. perfect. And I remember when I spoke to him, I think he'd, he'd had a bit of a, a troubled past. Yeah. He was, it's what I was getting to, he, he's from Sheffield himself. And he, I think he got involved with gangs up there and yeah. he got in a lot of trouble, ended up going to prison, come out, changed his life around, dedicated himself yeah, yeah, to boxing, boxing as you have, and, uh, and, and he's paying, paying dividends for him now. He's, he's doing really, really well. Uh, and like you said before, yeah. A fight you've been yeah. you've been gagging for for a long time. Like I say, I've I've seen a few things online of him, how he's turned his life around and that, and it's everything I stand for as well. So uh, absolutely, take me hat off to him in in that way, shape, or form. But like I say, it's uh, this is totally different different situation. It's two lads having a fight. Um, I believe in myself and I believe what I can do. And like I said, with Anthony Crawler now coaching me, the things I believe my previous fights have all been good. But I believe that now. We've, we've come to different well, things. This is what I wanted to try and get to. You, you know, sometimes they say, you know, a loss can, as devastating as it was for you at the time, sometimes when you look back, and maybe we'll be doing that in a few months, and, and saying that was perhaps the best thing that could happen to you at the time, because you have made a lot of changes. Here, what I'm, I'm watching yeah. today yeah. Um, is something that you've never Go. done before, and it's something that yeah. only in the last six months you've been adding to your game, yeah. the strength and conditioning. Well, I, I can see masses and masses of differences in myself from doing, like I said, Tim Tim Holmes, who, who works here, well, this is his, his gym, Holmes from Holmes, and the difference in his like, it's not just weights, like as you've seen today, Lee, and you'll be showing on the videos, it's like, I feel like my balance, my structure, everything, my, my movement, is, it's all changing, it's all changing for the good. Before I was very stiff, I was very lent over, come forward fighter, whereas now I'm more of a, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna I'm gonna punch, I'm gonna be ready. So like I say, every aspect and everything's been covered this time. So I've no excuses, Lee, I've no excuses. I'm I'm being coached by by uh, Anthony Crawler and like I said uh, it's going unbelievable. But the sparring's been unbelievable. I just think this fight has come at the perfect time. I, I had a fight lined but up. You don't say that though, because like you say, it, it, by the time you step through the ropes, <coughs> it's going to be 16 months since you last fought, and obviously it was your first defeat. Um, and there's been a lot of changes since then. Yeah. But do you feel, like you say, everything for a reason? This is everything you, for a reason. Just so much. Definitely. You, 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 will I be able to recognise you when you get in the ring? You're not going to recognise me. Like I said, it was a bad time when I took that loss, and I took it pretty hard. But the thing is. I've had time to look back and I know I've rectified everything what has gone wrong. I know I've made made adjustments, I've made it right. Like 
I don't know about other boxers, I can only about, like, speak for myself, but these last 16 months I've not sat on that sofa. I've, I've been out there, I've been working. I don't know if people have seen it on Instagram and Facebook I've, with Rhiannon and Ross and, like I said, Tim and in the gym. I've, I've not stopped working. I've had two lockdowns where I've been training like mad. Even when we wasn't allowed to, even when the elite athletes weren't allowed to train, I was, I was doing all I can to make sure I'm ready for this day today. Well, not today, in five weeks' time, but like I said... Well, it's going to be five weeks on Saturday, isn't it? Friday, it's a Friday night, it is well, the show, Friday, yeah, five so, weeks yeah. on Friday. So, by the time and we get this, in that ring... Is this the first show it's Dennis Hobson? And he's putting, I think, 13 shows on on consecutive yeah. Fridays, isn't it? Well, I don't know his first one. I'm still, waiting, I'm still waiting for the announcement yet, Lee. What do you mean? He's well, I don't, it now, so I know, I don't know. I don't know what, what how, he's, how, he's, how he's platforming it or anything like right. that. I don't know which way he's going to go in. Uh, like if it's well, if they follow our yeah. page, then yeah. obviously they will do. If they're following you, then yeah. uh, they'll be able to uh, know what's happening, and how they can watch it, or yeah. you know. I, I believe there's going to be audiences. Well, I've been told there's going to be limited tickets and uh, available. So, like I say, I've got a good following, so I know plenty of my people will come, and I've got some fantastic sponsors who will support me there. So it's going to be a good nightmare. It's going to be. I think there's. It's a big show. Well, uh, a couple uh, of titles there's, on it. So a, yeah, there's another um, thing. The English title. Um, the English title. Mills, I think there's a central uh, on it as well. Yeah, which is going to be, yeah. I think, Mikey uh, Gomez. Yeah, Mikey Junior. Gomez, Jeremy. Well, I'm fighting for a title. Me and Anthony Tomlinson. It's not. You don't know what it is. It's not been announced yet. So extra incentive there, mate. Do you know what I mean? I want that. I want that title on this shoulder, if not that shoulder, so whichever. <laughs> this is the first show of that series yes, of 13 shows, yeah, and yeah. this is. This is a big one, isn't it? It's, 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 it's a good fight, there. Do you know what I mean? It's two central area guys. We're going for it. We're both. We're all putting it. Listen, I've took one loss. He's, he's he's unbeaten, but I still believe we're both putting it on the line. We're both putting everything on the line. Do you know what I mean? Mm. This is. I, I I personally believe this is my standout comeback. Like not comeback. Cause I've never been thinking about a, like a. How, how would I say like a standout so, fight? So um, you and Mr. Anthony Thompson, yes. who I know quite well. Like I said, yeah. I did interview him a couple of years ago. Yeah. Lovely guy, good Seems friend like with nice Dave Allen. I've, I've watched, like I said, I've looked at a few things. I don't get too involved in watching stuff like that. Anthony's already took that upon himself, and he's he's uh, we're, we're drilling now for for what we think we can we can push an Anthony in. So listen, he's a he's a good guy. I think two good lads going What's for it. What's his style like then? How would you describe him? Personally, I think he's he's very raw. He throws shots which you wouldn't normally throw. Which <laughs> them are the ones that usually catch you, the ones that you're not expecting. So I've got to be on my game. I know I've got to be tight, but I'm going to. How does Anthony think about? It. I'm going to catch all you, so like uh, maybe the week before the fight, and uh, I'll come down to uh, speak with you and um, your coach. Um, so so like I say. Good luck. Yeah, Everything you seems much, already. Man. You're looking amazing shape thank already. You. And like I say, this is what you've been you've been dreaming about. And this kid that you've been chasing for a while. 100%. This so. is my first first proper title fight. First proper title fight. And let me tell you, I'm gonna I'm gonna grasp it by the balls. I'm telling you. <laughs> and I'll uh, I'm bringing it home. I'm bringing it back to Wigan. And that's the one. Man, I tell you, I really, really am. James, thank we'll you very on much. That, mate. Thank you very much. Lee. Take care.